Hey, what's up you guys? Um, this is Claire. I am about to be a junior at Roanoke College and I am currently on summer break back home in Annapolis, Maryland. And I am starting my new job today. So I thought I would take you guys along so I could also look back at this footage and see how I was feeling on the first day. I just had two hours of training. It was me, a supervisor, and two other students at Roanoke. And essentially, I am working as a telephone interviewer. So we went over how to call from working at home so that the people we're calling don't actually see my personal phone number and how to go through the surveys and all the different answers that they could possibly choose. And now I'm having a quick little lunch. So I've made myself a egg scramble and I decided to have some chips with it and kind of eat them like nachos. So I have the Starbucks that I got earlier. It is a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew. It is slightly melted and that's okay. About to have a three hour shift calling people and I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> I just finished my first shift, I guess if you could call it that. And I'm currently working with IPOR, which is the Institute for of Public Opinion Research, I think. I don't know, I just think the acronym sounds funny. But right now, Roanoke College students are calling on behalf of Siena College in New York. So we're calling New York folk and trying to get them to answer surveys about their opinions on tobacco use. So I called 83 people over the course of three hours. Right, I, in retrospect, that's not very much. Maybe I don't type the numbers fast enough. Apparently when you call landlines, there's a dialer that automatically puts in the numbers for you, but I was assigned to call cell phones, so I had to manually input all of the numbers, which wasn't that big of a deal. Got three whole people. <laughs> um, so one per, oh, hi Hobbs, thank you, great. So I got three whole people to answer this survey, and I even got one person to threaten to sue me, which is great. Um, he told me that there is a 2500 go away fee, so he sounds like he really knows what he- whatever. Not many people picked up. I think maybe like 20, 25 people answered their phones. Um, like when I- look at phone numbers that call me. If I don't have them on my contact list, I don't pick up. So I was surprised that that many people answered even. Um, and for the most part, after I said my opening line, uh, most people hung up on me, which I'm supposed to mark as a soft refusal. I don't, maybe it's just me, but I feel like hanging up on someone is more than a soft refusal. I'll have to take that up with one of the professors, I don't know. Um, like it wasn't hard. I just got a little butt hurt when people would hang up on me. I think like I'm taking it too personally because to them I'm just like a spam caller. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. I know this might not be super interesting, but uh, currently we have a new cat, Hobbs. He's the orange one over there. And then we have our incumbent cat, Pookie, on the other side of the door. And they have not met in person yet. Um, they've only met on uh, either sides of the door. Pookie is very territorial. I figure out the best way to introduce them. Like we were looking at Jackson Galaxy, the cat expert, like his methods he uses to get cats to be friends. Um, the issue is Pookie doesn't like food, so they won't eat on other sides of the door together, which is unfortunate. Hello, good morning. I woke up around 10ish or so. I don't have to work until 3, um, but I have some friends coming over at noon, so in about- <laughs> I don't have a watch on- <laughs> so in about 45 minutes, um, we're going to have a socially distanced lunch in my backyard. 
Um, so I just spent my time putting all those chairs somewhat, I don't know if they're six feet apart, just to make sure that we weren't like right next to each other. Um, so I'll have some of my friends coming over for that. Uh, currently just having my morning coffee. Like, we're doing a lunch, but I haven't had breakfast yet, so maybe I'll just have breakfast. I don't know. Hobbs is here with us. Say hi, Hobbs. <laughs> so, my friends came over uh, for about two hours, and we just sat outside, ate a pancake and uh, some apple slices. I should probably eat more, maybe something more sustainable energy wise um i'm about to have another three hour shift baby uh we'll see how many people <laughs> i get to call this time in mind that like if people hang up on me i shouldn't take it too personally because i definitely <laughs> got upset yesterday <laughs> when people hung up on me after i said hi i'm claire so We'll see how it goes the second time around, and I'll check back in after that. Okay, slight update. I ended up making a smoothie with a Dole Strawberry Watermelon Mix, um, but I wanted to add a little something something to it. So I added in this coconut and banana fruit ice. It's just like a little popsicle. Um, I think it looks pretty tasty. I don't know, we'll see how the texture is. That's the one thing that I'm concerned about. So it ended up making more than I thought it was going to. It's like kind of the size of my head. Taste test. Mm, not bad. Going on a walk. Going on a walk, trying to get some exercise. I'm going on a walk. Okay, so I just start. I I started to make bagels, um, about like an hour and a half ago, and I've been letting the dough rise. So now is the moment of truth. Oh, beautiful, so big, so puffy. So here are my bagels. The recipe said it makes eight. I have to add the honey to the boiling water and then you have to cook the bagels like on a minute each side. Um, I forget what that does. Good morning. I just made my coffee and here are the bagels that I made last night. I need to work on shape next time around, but I just put one of them in the toaster. So I'm gonna have my coffee and a bagel and get this day started. Guys, this is a damn good bagel. So I just got an email from my professor for my summer class. It's drugs and behavior. It's a psychology 300 level. I'm really excited for it. I think it should be fun. Um, I've already rented the textbook and she said that we're going to be zooming from 9 to 10 or 9 to 10 30 every weekday which isn't too bad considering the class is only for the month of june and if we were in person it would be meeting for almost three hours every day so i think that's pretty good anyway right now i'm just going to make a calendar um, because I find that when I'm trying to keep track of things, planners aren't optimal for me personally. I really prefer to have, like, a calendar of sorts. Usually, like, back at school, I'll do, like, a week-by-week -week play, um, for the whole semester. But because this is shortened, I figure I can fit it all in one sheet. We'll see how this goes. About 20 minutes later, um, by no means is it perfect, but this will do the job. So it is almost, oh, you can see my face. That's cute. It's almost two. I start work at three. So I'm just making a little egg scramble. I've chopped up some peppers and onions. I'm going to grate some of this cheddar cheese. I have my eggs out 
and I have like, <laughs> this is gonna look so weird. I have this one egg yolk um, leftover because last night when I made the bagels, I needed an egg wash and it only needed the egg white. So I figure I'll just add in this one little dude. So I just got done with work. Today I pulled, well I called, it was not successful in polling. <laughs> I called a hundred people and I got five people to complete the survey, which is more than yesterday, which was four, despite the fact that I called 110 people. But it was also Memorial Day, so I get it. Um, surprisingly, I had a lot more people answer the phone this time, but again, most of them hung up or they were like at work and said, hey, call me later. And I was like, hmm, of course I will. I think it's getting more routine, more comfortable as I keep doing it. But I still like, I feel nervous. I get like these butterflies in my stomach whenever I'm about to start calling. I don't know, like there's something about calling strangers in New York to ask them about their thoughts on tobacco, which is just, hmm. I am currently online shopping for some swimwear and I saw that ASOS, ASOS, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but they have fuller bust um, swimsuits, which is what I'm looking for because I purchased um, a swimsuit from Cupshe and a swimsuit from Dippin' Daisies and they're both really cute, but my issue is that my band size oh oh my goodness oh yeah i also have someone helping me shop so but yeah essentially things just haven't really fit quite yet so hoping for something to fit hello what's up so i haven't really done that much today um i tanned outside in direct sunlight for approximately half an hour <laughs> And then it just got so hot and I'm so pale and I was like, I should take some time to like, to introduce my skin to the sun again. So I just ate half of a bagel with jelly on it. And now I have half of a bagel with peanut butter on it. My shift starts in about 10 minutes. For the first time, I'm not feeling as many nervous butterflies, which is good. So we'll see how this shift goes. This is much later in the day. Um, I only got through two of my three hours because we, so we get a 10 minute break every hour and I take mine at the end of the hour. So I went downstairs and I got an apple and I was cutting the apple as a snack when I got my thumb, which is really unfortunate. And it was just bleeding profusely. So I texted my supervisor and I was like, it hurts, I can't do another hour. And she was like, of course, take your time to rest, be safe. And I was like, thank you, Teresa. Excuse me, ma'am, I'm gonna have to ask you to step away from the back. Wait, no, no. Ma'am, step away. Thank you. Hello, hello. It is a new day and I was just tanning outside. So as you can see, I have some lines coming up. Um, I've been realizing that my life isn't super interesting to document. At least I don't think so. <laughs> but I just got the syllabus from my professor for my drugs and behavior class. So I think I'm going to start adding the dates for tests and reading assignments and stuff to my calendar once I get dressed. Okay, so I'm kind of a liar. I'm currently at the one and only Bean Rush Cafe. Oh, beautiful. Um, I'm with my mother and we are getting curbside pickup. We both got a dirty ice chai, so I'm excited. Currently entering my hours. As you can see, this is on the Roanoke online timesheet. So this is when I had training on Sunday. And for the most part, I've been working three to six. 
So I just gotta put in how long I'm gonna work today, which should be three hours. I'm gonna end at six. And then I should be good to go to submit for approval. Woo Guys, <laughs> three hours later, I have called 130, 33, lol, 113 people. And I have gotten a total of two responses. <laughs> oh look, just me and Hubs gearing up for a Zoom call. <laughs> I'm finally going over the syllabus and putting stuff in. It's hot, so I have a fan going. And we have the really cute, um, fancy faced cans behind the computer, so yay. Okay, folks, so it is the end of the week. I don't know how well I actually kept up with anything, so I guess I'll figure out when I look back on all of the footage. Yeah, that's kind of it, I guess. <laughs> Bye.